guys welcome back to my channel um so i think we're up to episode six now of the gypsy rose process video so we've been making this altered book um journal together and it's coming along quite nicely so just checking i'm in frame hopefully um just raise my light a little bit so it's a little bit better so I've kind of tentatively kind of just laid out a couple of things that we'll work on today so that I'm not, you know, uh, <laughs> taking up too much time just deciding what we're actually going to do. So obviously we've got this piece which we have already previously made. So I thought we'll actually go ahead and kind of stick that down into the book. And then I thought we'd put it here and on the facing page we'll pop this um, book page pocket. I don't know whether... These are kind of a known one. I know that, um, you know, lots of people kind of do the book page pockets. They're really great and really kind of, um, you know, versatile because they kind of go with everything. And I know that kind of Patricia Viramontes is, you know, she's kind of the pocket or the book, book pockets guru. So I really apologise if I am, you know, pinching anybody's ideas or anything like that I really am you know not meaning to I just literally maybe haven't come across this particular pocket you know um before but I've come across tons similar so I'm not claiming it's anything amazing or anything but basically it's just a couple of book pages and I've stitched them together around the edge and then I've just literally folded this over like a flap just for interest, not really for any other reason than that. So, so far I've just done that. So I'll just move the book to one side and then we'll just ink it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more in keeping with the journal. So we'll just literally oops, ink it up around the edges. Because this journal, we've gone for quite a kind of vintagey look. If you've been following along, along with the series, um, we've been going for quite a kind of vintage, grungy kind of look. Quite heavily, you know, distressing and um, coffee dyed and things. So, you know, I'm just trying to kind of make it look obviously nicely in keeping with the rest of the pages and the rest of the book. So, I'll just bring that back. So what we might do is actually kind of glue this piece down so it doesn't keep on moving around, you know, getting in our way. And what I'll do is I will just glue this one down on these two edges. So I've got my hot glue gun. I'm just going to, you know, check that it hasn't really got kind of glue hanging off of it because it's been obviously warming up for a few minutes. So I've got my bag to the side because as usual at my son's desk. So I just literally it like that and we'll just pop it down like that get those odd little bits of glue out that kind of seep out of the edges I'm just going to take my jacket off not because I'm hot because actually it's pretty chilly but it's got some buttons on the um, sleeves and I don't want them banging on the desk making a horrible noise that's really distracting for everyone so just taking it off so this one here will have kind of on the facing page so I'm just going to kind of put my scissors there to hold it open while we're kind of working for a moment so now we just want to decorate obviously this pocket up so we'll have a look obviously I can do a tutorial for this pocket um you know if anyone would like that as I say it's you know it's not kind of something new I'm sure that there's loads out here you know out there the same I'm not trying to imply that you know mine is the first one or anything like that but yeah if anyone would like a tutorial if you let me know below then I can obviously do that so I'm just literally kind of um, digging around getting some little bits and bobs and I've said this every time that I've done this um, process video. I start out and I've got all my kind of bits and pieces ready, fussy cut out into little packets. And then within about three minutes of doing the video, they're all over everywhere, scattered all over the desk. So I might 
might try and work a little bit tidier today. Famous last words probably won't work. Um, because as soon as obviously I come to, you know, to do anything, I pull a load out and then subsequently they're just stuck everywhere, you know, or hanging around everywhere all over the desk. So, um, you know, what starts out relatively organised very soon turns into complete and utter chaos. So I will try my very best to, you know, be a bit more disciplined today, but I doubt it will work to be perfectly honest. So I've got these little banners from the kit. They've just um, come in kind of a different colourway. So I might even go for this one because it kind of ties the green in quite nicely. I'm just having a look. Have it something like that. And then obviously I've got a whole bunch of roses and flowers and things that I could use. So just having a look through these things. I don't know whether this is in frame or not. Hopefully it is. And I've got a little butterfly there that we could pop on somewhere. A little bit of carriage. Right, so let me just move these things to one side a little bit. But keep them here kind of in front of me so they're in grabbing distance. So I'll just ink up a couple of flowers maybe. We might like something like this. Obviously, I've got lots of lace here that we've been using for this journal as well. And I know I say this every week, but you know, I don't touch these things in between the the videos. So they really are just kind of there ready to work with, you know, as per kind of our last last play with the kit. So obviously that's the same this week. I haven't touched them. They're just exactly as I left things last week after I kind of cleared away. So we've got a green one there. Got this one here. So I hope everyone's having a nice week. It was um, a very nice weekend. It was very nice weather. So that was uh, really nice. And just to do kind of couple of walks and things with the kids we went to the beach had a kind of picnic you know I mean it wasn't sunbathing weather but we put our coats on you know and went down to the beach had a bit of a nice time there took a picnic so that was really nice and then before you know it the week starts again doesn't it time just absolutely races by I find I've been busy this week um, working on another digital kit. Um, it's kind of mad because I have to kind of go when inspiration strikes or go, go for it when inspiration strikes. But obviously, you know, I've got quite a lot of other things that I've still kind of halfway through. So I should really resist the urge and actually just finish one thing at a time. But very difficult because you know you kind of want to get on with other things don't you so what I might do is um, I wonder if we could stick something kind of hidden under there maybe something kind of cute or maybe a little quote or something with this little postcard well, we'll have a think about that in a minute. So for a moment, I will just glue this little rosebud down, which actually I've just noticed I haven't inked up the edges of that. Yes, I've got loads of things, um, kind of half, oops, the glue's got a pin in it. Um, loads of things kind of half finished, and I should really kind of complete one thing at a time, but, you know, kind of when you, you know, when the fancy takes you, you kind of have to to do it, really, don't you? Because if you don't, you then quickly forget what it was that you thought would look nice or would go nicely or that you would work with next. So um, I'm kind of working from that basis at the moment. Hence got several things on the go and... Um, 
think I said a few weeks ago that I'm not really used to working like that. For me, this is very chaotic and um, I'm not really used to kind of doing that. But it's just organically kind of gone that way because, you know, I start one thing and then I kind of think, oh, I'm just going to try this. And then obviously things take a lot more time than you expect. So it all takes you away from the thing you were originally working on. And... Um, Hence then things are not really kind of ever getting completed. I'm just going to stick this one down. Anyway, it's a um it's a bird's kit that I've been working on. So I've left it downstairs printing out at the moment, the kind of first draft, and obviously it will need some tidying up and kind of, you know, adjusting. But you have to kind of print it out to see sometimes because what looks great on the screen sometimes doesn't look great when you print it out. So just kind of doing that while I'm here doing this video. So hopefully when I go down, it have printed. Sometimes you get down and then find, you know, something's happened and for some reason it's only printed out the first two pages and you've wasted all that time, you know, for no reason, which is slightly frustrating. And obviously I'm still doing my Beatrix Potter um, journal, which I actually haven't touched since the last um, process video. So again, I need to kind of crack on with that, whether or not I do it as a process video. I was really enjoying playing with it in the process videos. But I feel that maybe kind of it's all dragging on a bit, you know, and I need to kind of now just get get going with some things, you know. So I might just actually glue this um, pocket on. What I'm going to do is just glue it down like that so that if we wanted to use it as a side pocket, we can. You know, we don't have to, but the option's there then. Yeah, so no doubt when I come to look at that, I'll be a bit as I am with this kind of and won't really quite remember where I've got up to because um, it's quite difficult working on something kind of just once a week or that it must be a couple of weeks now since I obviously picked that up and you kind of forget what you've done and you know where you were up to and what kind of you had an idea of at the time. And then obviously you know kind of have my work days as well so that kind of takes me away from it as well so it's all a little bit stop start at the moment so it's a bit frustrating but but you know I'm I'm not complaining and I'm sure that most of us are the same aren't we because we all have kind of other things going on and I mean unfortunately most of us would probably like to be doing this as more of a full-time a full-time role um you know, but sadly, <laughs> sadly needs must and um, therefore we all have to have a kind of day job too. That kind of means obviously we get less time to do this, which is obviously much more fun than the day job. I quite like it like that actually. So, um, and then obviously it wouldn't be quite the same without a bit of diamond tea somewhere. See if I've got any more in my little tin. Or whether I left it up here last time, or not up here, but left it on the the tray of goodies last time. Let me just have a quick look through on this one. I thought it was strange when I couldn't immediately see it. We could have that kind of like that. That looks really nice. And I'm still debating whether to glue this flap down or not. Because we could just, you know. Not sure. So what I might do is actually kind of, whoops, glue hanging off of my hot glue gun, hanging everywhere. You can probably hear, I seem to have my cold back again. So this is just half the course. And um, if you didn't watch me last year, you know, um, last winter, I'm just constantly, with a cold kind of at this time of year and actually right through till about March probably now which is not good and um, 
not the best. There we go. So we've popped that on, so I like that. Then we're going to have this one down here, or just checking whether we might prefer to have that rose kind of up in the corner. I do like it up there, funnily enough, but then I do quite like it down there too. So I think we'll go for it down the bottom. Now, I'll just put some more glue in the glue gun. I'm going to hot glue this down because obviously it's gluing on something that's a little bit raised. So I would otherwise have to wait and kind of weigh it down for it to dry because it's a two different kind of levels. So. The hot glue, it's just a little bit easier, isn't it, if you want it kind of a bit more instant. So, there we go. So, we've got that there. Just pull that away from the page now. And do I want this? I do quite like it along the top, I think. What I might do again is, um, and I've tended to do this when using this particular lace, is kind of cut off this, this header piece. It just seems a little bit um, kind of solid looking. So I probably just prefer it without it, I think. Just makes it that little bit more delicate and kind of pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to pop that here and I will just glue it on with the wet glue. I'll just tuck that under there a bit. Just so it's kind of right the way along. Okay. Like that. And then where we want to have some of our Diamante. I just don't think it's quite right without a bit of um, Diamante somewhere. Oops. I think I said this last time. Um, I bought my last lot of hot glue from Amazon, the same seller I've you know used kind of in the past. But he must have changed brands or something, be selling slightly different because it's just nowhere near as good as normal and um, noticed a few times it hasn't really stuck things like these trims it hasn't stuck them down quite properly which is really irritating because um, you know sometimes it's stuck at first and then it kind of comes up a few days later so yeah it's a bit annoying you know when people change their products I realize obviously they change them because they can't necessarily get things from their suppliers but it's a bit annoying because um, you know he's obviously changed to a different supplier and it's just not quite as good so I quite like that page and actually I don't think we need the butterfly on there at all I think that looks really pretty just as is so I'm just going to check the time so we're up to 18 minutes because I'm trying to keep this particular um, series to about half an hour slots so i did pop something else in that i thought we'd work on today so the next one was this page so i've got this particular little piece that we've already done and then all i did was took literally one of the background papers we used some of this last time um to create a corner pocket and i've literally just cut a section to make a belly band so i'm just going to snip it down here And um, I think it was last time I was talking about a brilliant film that um, we'd watched the other day called Freedom. And I couldn't remember whether it was Freedom Fighters, Freedom Writers. As soon as I kind of said it, I thought, oh, I'm not quite sure which, one, which, which it was called. Um, 
anyway, Laura very kindly corrected me and said, yes, it was Freedom Writers. Um, so if you haven't seen that film and are looking for a kind of, you know, emotionally <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah, that it kind of gets to you emotionally, um, heart wrenching kind of film, but you know, uplifting kind of by the end, it was very uplifting. Um, I'd recommend that one. It was really good and the kids really enjoyed it too. It was, um, you know, lovely story and really nice to kind of, at the end of the film, it, it was nice. So, uh, yeah, it was a good one. I don't think I've seen anything else particularly great of late. Um, of course, over here we had a mini series called The Bodyguard, which was in the news, or, you know, not the news, but I mean, those kind of morning breakfast chat show things. Um, they were talking about it a lot and they were talking about it on the radio and things like that. Um, it was okay. I I wasn't that impressed and I know that I'm really in the minority. I know everybody else seemed to absolutely love it. I thought it was okay. It kind of, for me, lost interest a bit. The main character, she died. Um, oh, sorry, I should not be saying this in case you have not seen it. Let, right, no more spoilers, so I apologise there. Um, anyway, it lost it for me a little bit after that and it didn't seem quite so good. I'm just going to pop some book page here, at the back. Didn't seem quite so good and then um, I think that was about halfway through. There must have been about five or six episodes and after that I just kind of, yeah, lost interest and kind of watched it, you know, when you're half watching. So... You know, <laughs> I was fussy cut in and, you know, um, replying to comments and things like that on uh, my channel and not particularly paying attention to it. So, in fairness, had I been paying full attention, maybe, maybe I would have thought it was better than I actually did. I'm going to stick this down again, just like a tuck spot on two sides. And I'm going to do it with the hot glue. Um, yeah, for me, I just... I didn't think it was quite worthy of the amount of hype it seemed to get. Um, but having said that, I think maybe it just got so much hype because there just so rarely seems anything worth watching. I mean, obviously kind of uh, when we were younger and we only had kind of four channels. I mean, there always seemed to be things to watch. And now we have all these different channels and yet there's nothing to watch. You know, and just sometimes find myself flicking through the channels endlessly, trying to find something, and nothing. Literally, you know, can find nothing. So, yeah, I don't know quite what has happened there with the with the TV, but definitely, kind of more isn't necessarily, you know, doesn't necessarily kind of mean more to watch. More channels doesn't necessarily mean more choice, unfortunately. So I might do something like that on this page. Just having a look through my little tiny bits here that I've got. Would have preferred something more gold, really. Um, but because I'm trying to keep the time here, I don't want to be endlessly, you know, boring everyone kind of looking for stuff. So. Actually, I've got this one, which maybe I prefer that. And then, um, just wondering if I could kind of pop it onto something as a, whoa, things now, as a background. So, I should put in the bigger bag now of kind of slightly bigger items which I actually have got two bags of kind of bigger items so I'm just wondering whether I could kind of layer that onto something maybe maybe this maybe so let's ink this up move all these tiny bits out of the way again 
pop that there in case I lose it. I had to chuckle last week as well. Um, I can't remember what it was that I lost, but I, I lost something that I was literally about to use. And um, it was Laura again who commented and said she'd seen, I can't remember whether it was a book page, I think it was a book page that I was about to use. And she'd seen it fly off, you know, wherever it disappeared to. Which I had to kind of chuckle a bit, really, because um, I just thought it was really amusing that, you know, I was sat there kind of having lost it. I mean, in the end, I literally didn't find it again and I had to go with something else instead. And it just struck me as really quite amusing that obviously, you know, I couldn't see it, but obviously those watching could see it. And um, yeah, something about that just really kind of made me chuckle for some reason. I don't know why, but um, something about it just did make me feel quite amused. So I'm thinking like this, and actually I'm thinking of that big gold rose just a moment ago. So again, let me try and find where that went. You see, this is exactly, exactly what I was talking about. There we go. Let's ink that up. Oh, is that going to be too much gold now? And we've got the caravan. I mean, what we could do even kind of have the caravan layered again kind of onto some more yellow maybe something kind of like that oh, it's a bit cluttered doesn't it maybe this I'm trying to obviously tie in the blue. I haven't um, done this, I'm not sure whether I've done it ever before actually, where I have a different colour page background on the other side. I'm not sure that I quite like working with it. I might not bother doing that again. I might have already done it once or twice in this book and in another couple of books that I've kind of been getting ready. So obviously if I have, I'll have to just work with it. But makes it a little bit tricky kind of getting things to then tie in I think or perhaps, perhaps that piece is the wrong piece right hold on let me go back through my larger items now you see I have got this big postcard here I mean, again, this is one of those things that really, I'm sure, to anybody else just really wouldn't matter. But to us crafters, this is a massive, massive thing, isn't it? So what I've got, actually, is some more of this paper. And this one's been coffee dyed and actually is just on paper rather than hard. So I'm going to trim this down, literally, like that. And then what I think we'll do is make a little folding kind of flip out on the side of there. So if we kind of put it like this, and like that. So what I might do is this postcard, I'll tear that in half. And we'll ink this up. Gosh, again, I hope I'm in frame. I think I've said this again the last few times, so I don't mean to be repeating myself. I have moved the um, shelf, you know, uh, not, I haven't moved the shelf, no. I've moved the iPad onto a higher, um, onto a box, whereas I used to just pile it onto some books. So obviously now it is higher, which is obviously, you know, I think better because hopefully I can get more in frame. 
the only thing is I can see it even less than I used to be able to so it's kind of great because obviously hopefully I'm actually able to get more in on frame but on the downside I'm able to see less to double check that it's in frame if that makes sense so um yeah it's all a bit nerve-wracking hoping that I'm actually not filming all of this stuff and getting none of it actually in frame I'll just pop that like that and then what I will do this little fold out that we just made I'm just going to take my corner punch and just snip the corners there so it looks nice you know just says it's pleasing to the eye really for no other reason than that okay. I should really do those as well on the inside okay Oops. that one's gone a bit funny now And then what we'll do, now uh, hopefully you can see here, I've got a smaller flap and what I'm planning on doing is obviously gluing the smaller flap onto the back of the belly band. So again, I will just wet glue that down. Like that. Now the belly band is actually on card rather than this thin paper. So hopefully it's kind of a bit more rigid. Okay. So that looks really nice. And then you see when it bends back, it just opens like that. So in fact, because obviously I was going to pop the caravan in there. Let me see if I have another caravan in a similar color. Again, I don't want to kind of just be taking up endless amounts of your time, so I will just rush on. So this will do. I've got a little suitcase instead. So I'm just going to pop the suitcase down. I mean, again, this is just really for fun to make it look kind of pretty. Which actually, I probably prefer that kind of bit more up. Okay. And then this one. Glue this down like that. Okay. Now the problem is, you see, let me see what the time is. We're up to, I think, 33 minutes, I think that's it. Because these half an hour um, videos, I think that's why this is obviously... Um, you know coming along quite slowly because obviously a half an hour you're quite limited on how much you can really achieve in half an hour so um i will obviously be overrunning slightly now only because i've got some string here if you watch my channel a lot you will know how much i love tying things up so i'm going to tie that up like that and then snippets yeah I've even got two pairs of scissors here because I obviously bought some with me and there were some obviously that I'd left last week thrown on the pile and then what we do I like to glue down the string now obviously that's going to take a little while to dry you don't want to glue it onto the page, you know, glue the middle onto the page, if you see what I mean. But so now you've got some string, obviously, holding that closed, which I rather like. And then just to kind of tie it in a little bit more, I've got this blue bow. Now, I was playing around with this blue lace, but actually that might be too much. So what I might do is use some ivory lace. But again, I've got some crocheted ivory lace, so hopefully kind of ties it in theme-wise but with a blue bow so oh, I'm gonna have to go for this 
because obviously, you know, I want to kind of get this completed before finishing this video. So I'm going to do one there, one at the top. There we go. And then we're just going to glue that down like that. Just press that nicely into the page. I have got a couple of um, clips with me, so I will just hold that down. And then I might be onto those little baby ones. Oops. I've got my fantastic tin, my um, very full, very full tin that I love bringing along, full of all my bits and bobs. Okay, and this one here, like that. I'll just hold this down for a moment. Um, and then what we're going to do, I will just cut this kind of roughly to size. Move that lace trim out of the way. Now, do we want it at the top and the bottom? or just the top or just the bottom. So it's just one decision after another, isn't it? I rather like it at the top and the bottom. I know that's a little bit um, kind of overkill, but for some reason it's it's just calling to me like that today. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, take these clips off and just hope that that's kind of um, Held enough. Oops. And then what I'll do is use the hot glue here to just glue that lace trim on. Yeah, so the Beatrix Potter Journal, um, I may get round to do another process process video for it but it might be that I will just have to complete that um you know it's kind of standalone um I was really enjoying doing that I did say um you know I wasn't going to do that as a series because obviously I couldn't really kind of have the two series series is running along together um you know time wise it kind of wasn't really very practical but I was really enjoying doing it um so, you know, I may or may not be able to do another process video for that. Um, but if not, I will obviously just kind of crack on with that and complete it, you know, myself kind of in slow time. But it is good fun crafting with you guys because obviously, you know, it's quite nice kind of chatting away. And I think I've said before, I mean, in some ways I find it a little bit more helpful because I'm concentrating on doing a video as well. In some ways, I sometimes find things come together actually a bit easier than they do when it's just me. Because sometimes then I can kind of get bogged down, really overthinking, you know, for a long time. So, uh, yeah, I might, I might see if I can squeeze a process video for that in, because I, I was having fun with it. Right, so I rather like that, and then all I've got left is this little blue bow which I just thought then ties the blue from the neck you know the facing page in really nicely so again I always call these the legs so I'm just going to hold it by the legs and then I like to hot glue the bows down because obviously they're a little bit likely to kind of ping up so I just glue that down like that Okay, so really like how that looks. So we have actually completed another couple of pages there, so that's all good. Um, the other thing I really do need to do is obviously crack on with painting the pages that haven't been quite finished. Uh, right, let me check the time. Okay, we're at 39 minutes, so I apologise for the kind of going over by 10 minutes. Um, but I was obviously kind of enjoying myself and then wanted to obviously crack on and kind of get 
you know the full double page done so um i hope that you kind of enjoyed that um little process video and i will be back with another one soon so thanks very much for watching and i hope that you enjoy the rest of your day thanks a lot then bye